Welcome guys or welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to see you guys. Today we are doing a quick tutorial on how to front post and back post crochet. I will be teaching you how to do these techniques with the double crochet. However, these techniques can be used for really any beginner stitch. So you could do it with single crochet, half double crochet, trip, treble, um, whatever your pattern calls for. So today I'm using a J10 or six millimeter hook. I'm using some worsted weight, um, just acrylic yarn that I had in my stash. And you can see that beautiful texture. That's the front post double crochet and back post double crochet kind of work together. So go ahead and grab your yarn and your hook and we'll go ahead and get started. So before you start actually using the front post or back post double crochet or really for any stitch what you're going to do is you're actually going to go ahead and chain and you're going to work your first row just like you normally would so for me i'm going to go ahead and just do double crochet because that is the most common time that you'll see front post you'll see usually it's like front post double crochet or back post double crochet so for that reason, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it with the double crochet stitch. Um, you can also do this though with really any beginner stitch. Um, half double crochet, single crochet, this, the um, idea is the same. It just is most commonly seen with double crochet stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my first row just like normal. Nothing's going to be different. The biggest thing you want to know before you get started is you want to understand what the um, parts of a stitch really are. So here is the post. This is what will be a little, what will be working around. It's called the post of the stitch. And um, so we have the top of the stitch here, which is what we normally work into. We'll be working around this post instead. So we're gonna go ahead and chain two, turn. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and work in this second one just because I think it'll be a little easier for you guys to see is we're going to start off doing a front post double crochet so the front post means you're going to insert from the front that's how I remember it at least so front so you're going to go around the post so first we're going to yarn over just like we would for a normal double crochet we're going to in go insert at the front go around the back yarn over again pull back through just like you would if it was a normal stitch and you might want to pull up just a little bit because you don't want it overly tight overly tight in your stitches uh, then you're going to yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through just like you would for a double crochet so i'm going to show you that one more time so we're going to yarn over we're going to insert our hook from the front to the back and then just around that one stitches post you're going to yarn over again pull back through make sure you pull up Oop, just a little bit you're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that is two stitches that we just did that were front post double crochet now I'm gonna show you how to do a back post double crochet. To make it a little easier, I'm gonna go ahead and work a couple of double crochet stitches just normally because these are going to be opposite. We're actually going to work from the back to the front. So just like a normal double crochet, we're going to yarn over. We're going to insert from the back. You see that? Insert from the back. I'll go around so you can kind of see where your hook is it's just around that one stitches post you're going to yarn over pull
circle back through. This one is trickier to me than the other, than the front post double crochet, but it is still used pretty often. So, and once you get a flow going, it's much easier. So just like normal, then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just like a normal double crochet. So you'll see right there, you can see where you worked the stitch right there. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to yarn over, insert from the back, go around it, just that one post, yarn over, pull through. So you should have three loops just like normal. You should be able to see where you worked the stitch right there or where you're working the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So those are two back post double crochets versus two front post double crochets. So you can kind of see the difference there. Now, often what you'll see is you'll see a back post and then a front post and this will create a type of ribbing that can be really really pretty actually and I'll see if I can get a little example so you can kind of see So if you can keep going like this and as you work your way up, it'll create a really pretty ribbing back and forth, back and forth. And it is pretty amazing. I have a cardigan that has the wrists that way and I love it. So that's just a really basic tutorial of how to front post crochet and how to back post crochet. I hope this was helpful and I hope it gave you an idea of what you need to um, do to in order to completely in order to successfully complete these stitches if it was helpful Please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back soon